In this episode of Home Build Workshop, I'm gonna build a couple of nightstands out of fence pickets. When I built the serving tray out of the fence pickets, I mentioned that I had about a dozen of these things. Still got this big pile, gotta build something out of them. I need a couple of nightstands, so I'm gonna try to use these to build the nightstands. At the moment, there's a couple of things that I'm not sure of with this build. I don't really know how rugged this is going to turn out. This isn't the heaviest duty wood, it's not a hardwood by any means, I believe they're cedar. It should be strong enough once you get it glued up and reinforced and everything, but at the moment, I don't really know. It may fall apart as soon as I get it put together. Let's find out. As with most projects, I'll start off on the table saw using my crosscut sled. I'll cut the legs to length. Now I'm going to rip them down so that when I glue these into an L, both of the sides are equal. You can figure where you need to cut it by taking the total width of your board. Divide that in half. Now subtract the thickness of the board from one of the halves. Offset your cut line by that dimension, and when you glue it up into an L, it should be exact on both sides. Now I've got all those pieces set up in my clamps. I'm gonna glue them all together. I'm gonna attempt to glue them all together at once, mainly because I don't have that many clamps to glue them up all separately. You know that old saying, you can't have too many clamps? Yeah, it's true. While the glue on the legs is drying, I'm going to head back to the table saw and cut down all the pieces for the top and the aprons. I've set up some stop blocks on my bench. Tell me line everything up when I go to do the assembly. All I need to do is butt the legs up against the boards. I'll apply some glue to the ends of the aprons. I'll drop it into place, making sure it lines up with my stop block. And to hold it in place while the glue dries, I'll drive a few pin nails in there. I think now would be a good time to do the first round of sanding while I can still get to all the edges and before I actually assemble this thing into a square. I'll just apply some glue, hold it in place with a couple of clamps, and tack it with my pin nailer. And I'll just do the same thing for the other side. With the glue dry on the base, now it's time to glue on the tops. I've left the tops into individual boards because I want to be able to retain the edges and kind of make it look like separate boards. So I've got these all arranged the way I want them, upside down. I'm just going to apply some glue around the base and I'll place it on the tops. Once I get it lined up, I'll just use some bricks to put some weight on the base to help hold it down. As soon as the glue is set up enough to hold the tops on, I'll remove the bricks and for a little bit of added reinforcement, I'll shoot some pin nails down through the top. And for a little extra reinforcement, I'm gluing in some triangle blocks cut from some scraps of plywood. After a bit of final sanding, I'll apply a few coats of wipe-on polyurethane. I'm doing a light sanding in between the first and second coats of wipe-on poly. Actually feels really nice. As I'm applying this second coat of wipe-on poly, you'll notice 
I'm wearing gloves. For some reason it didn't occur to me that this stuff was gonna be as sticky as it was and I didn't wear gloves the first time. That was a bad idea. Didn't hurt my skin or anything, but man, is that stuff sticky. It would not wash off. I tried mineral spirits, I tried lacquer thinner, I tried hand cleaner, dish soap, all kinds of stuff. It would not come off. It took quite a while before the sticky went away. So this time, gloves. Now that the poly is dry, I've got a couple of nice little nightstands that I'm gonna get a lot of use of in my house. I've needed a set of these for quite a while, just haven't quite gotten around to making them. Now they're done. Now you may be wondering, why did I decide to build some furniture out of fence pickets? Well, number one, the wood was free. I didn't have to pay for it. I had it on hand, it was sitting outside, and I wanted to use it up. And the second reason was I wanted to see how durable it would be if used for an application like this. You may have seen the video where I built a serving tray. I'll put a link to it down below in the description. That turned out just fine. It's gonna get really light use, that serving tray is. These are gonna get light use as well, but it's gonna take a little bit more wear than a serving tray would. And I really just wanted to see how it was gonna turn out. I think it turned out pretty good. I like the look of it. One thing I would have done a little bit different is not use wipe on poly next time. It takes a whole lot of time to get in all the nooks and crannies and little cracks and crevices with the wipe on poly. I think a spray or even maybe a brush would have worked a little bit better. But overall, I'm happy with the results. If you enjoyed this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you know somebody that might enjoy this video, please share it. I really would appreciate the support. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss any episodes that I have coming up. You can also connect with me on social media. I'm on a lot of the different networks, and I'll put links down below in the description for those as well. So until next time, thanks a lot for watching. In this episode of Home Built Workshop, I'm going to build a couple of end tables out of fence pickets. Not end tables. I already built end tables. Ugh. That was tough. I'm trying to set up for this shot. For some reason, the camera would not focus. It kept focusing on my shirt right there. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I hope I have enough glue. Probably should have thought about that before I started this part. Sander. How come woodworkers don't like sanding? I'm not sure why that is. It's probably the worst thing about it. You gotta wear respirators and dust masks and all kinds of stuff. Sanding is just a drag. Ugh, it's the worst part of any project. At least for me. And I know I'm not alone. We gotta put on all this stuff. Safety glasses because you get dust in your eyes. Although safety glasses doesn't really help. And it's loud. See, I'm, I've already got dust in my eye. Why am I wearing safety glasses if I still get dust in my eye? Ah, I tell you what. I tell you what. All right, here we go. We're gonna sand. Don't forget the gloves. Because this wood is really splintery. <laughs> A lot of good those do. Okay, apparently you have to start the video in order to record. Who would have knew? I just assembled this side without the video running. leaned right in the glue. Shake well before using. How long does actually shake well mean? I don't know.
you kidding me? <laughs> that bee is back. He's gone. Can you just drown it on there? I don't know. Never used it. It's gonna matter if I just douse it on there. It does wipe on Polly, but you know what? Might be better off spraying this stuff on. This is a this is not cool. At least for this project, this was a bad idea. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. Wipe on Polly? I don't know. I'm gonna just end up dumping it in there in a minute. And I've gotta do a couple of coats like this. Ugh! Maybe I can use this whole can on this project and I won't have to see this stuff again. Seems like it'd be a good finish. Just a poor choice on my part for this project. I'm probably not supposed to be just splashing it on and wiping it around, but you know what? I hope that's my bench wobbling, not the table. The house is finished, Dad. It's, it's finished? Show everybody the house. So what have we got going on here? Um, nothing. We got a lot of glue. We got... Okay, that one's glued on there pretty good. A stick glued up here, that glue's almost dry. Don't pull it off yet. We got a whole lot of wood glue down here. Oh, that one's gonna dry right on there. 